It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, last week we had six Democratic candidates, and this week it's become like my dad's favorite radio station, just the oldies. <laughs> Joe Biden is now the frontrunner and just picked up an endorsement from Michigan's governor only days before the state's primary. And it makes sense that Michigan would love Biden because it kind of looks like a hand trying to touch a lady's hair. <laughs> I gotta say, honestly, I could not be more excited for Biden-Trump debates. They're gonna be the first debates that have to be moderated by a Jamaican nurse. <laughs> as well as the only debates that air on the Turner Classic Movie Channel. <laughs> and I don't want the moderator to ask them about anything political. I want all the questions to be like, who is the greatest slugger of the 50s? <laughs> Who's your favorite white boxer? <laughs> At this point, between Bernie, Biden, and Trump, I think the next debate should just be on that cruise ship. <laughs> and whichever one of them can beat coronavirus <laughs> becomes our next president. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know who's going to win the nomination, but watching white people fight over these old dudes is hilarious. <laughs> I don't even care who wins, just as long as they beat Trump. I'm not even really a Democrat. I just vote not Republican. <laughs> Democrats are like condoms to me. I mean, I'll use them because it's safer, I guess, but uh, it, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> Both Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders are actively courting Elizabeth Warren's endorsement, but I gotta say, the pantsuits are a little much. <laughs> President Trump attacked Biden over his recent gaffes, saying, there's something going on there. And Trump should know, because there's definitely something going on there, too. I mean, a few days ago, he did this. What are you doing, man? You can't say someone else is losing it and then whisper I love you to a flag. That's like saying, oh man, this guy's lost his marbles, but you're saying it to a mannequin. <laughs> then Trump visited the Centers for Disease Control and bragged about his knowledge of the coronavirus, saying this. Every one of these doctors said, how do you know so much about this? Maybe I have a natural ability. Maybe I should have done that instead of running for president. Oh, my God. Oh, we're all gonna die. What does that mean? He has a natural ability for coronavirus? I don't know, guys. I mean, maybe Trump's born with it, or... Maybe it's brain disease. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. You know, I, I found out that the odds of us catching coronavirus are about as high as us ending up on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> and here we are, Colin. <laughs> so we both gonna catch it. <laughs> yeah, we had a good run. I mean, we accomplished a lot, you know. Hey, could you believe we both almost got to marry Scarlett Johansson? <laughs> that was crazy. Oh. It was announced Friday that South by Southwest has been canceled because of the coronavirus. Meanwhile, coronavirus is set to headline Coachella. <laughs> and in breaking news today, it turns out that a guest at the conservative CPAC conference, which was attended by Trump and Pence, has tested positive for coronavirus. Worse, it was the guy in charge of handling Trump's flag. 